Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore the world of Nolan with a K, Canolan. But first, let's donate $1,000 to Human Rights Initiative of North Texas. Human Rights Initiative provides legal and support services to refugees and immigrants who have suffered human rights abuses and promotes international human rights. Please join us in giving at hrionline.org. Thank you for being your mythical best and for hanging out with us, two Nolan fools. I've never, I've never knolled anything. I never. didn't know it was called Nolan. Christopher Nolan. Um, K -N -O That's how the Nolan brothers got their start. K N O L L I N G is. Um, I do follow the Reddit, so we can make this a competition because I think I have an advantage. You mean you've seen these things? I yeah, I, f I follow the. Um, uh, the the Reddit community, the subreddit uh, called Nolan, where people you got a little something right there. I'm not gonna get it for you. I'm not, you, your, I'm not your mama. Where, where is it? It fell. It's a, it's a little piece of the pieces. Uh, let's look at an example. Okay, so this is Cam Vachon. She knolled out all of her supplies for an Antarctic expedition, including herself. It's, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of like, you'll see like it's a very fireman. very satisfying. Like a, yes, that's why I follow this. Like a, you'll see like an overhead shot of like a fire truck with all of the stuff taken out of it, including like the firemen that are involved in the truck. That was one really? of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, um, I, have, I, I have not seen this done with people. So let's, can we, can, so you're going to throw one up there and we're going to see who can get it first. Oh, oh, you want to, now you're, now you want to race for it? You can, First yeah. First of all, that let's is, do that. Yeah, but that is not a lot of stuff to take to Antarctica. And like, where's your food, girl? It's in that black. I mean, what? One, one pair of socks. This is this is bull crap. I'm calling bull crap on her. Where she has not all of her stuff. Lauren. These um packing videos are popular on TikTok too, and and there's a couple that's like hiking for four months, and they went through their bag of things that they're bringing, and they each yeah. brought one one pair of underwear. Oh. Really? It's rough, man. But is it made out of like merino wool? You at least need yeah. two so pairs it, of underwear. It never goes bad. You got to wear a pair while you're washing your underwear. Well, they're wearing a pair, and then they brought one. I think that's oh, acceptable. they weren't naked. Well, they weren't naked in the video. No. no. Okay. I think it's it's acceptable. Acceptable? Yes. I think it's acceptable to infection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You want, you, see, you want another pieces? Want to yeah. see uh, the first one? Yes, ma'am. I will say the first one. Well, let's see the first one. Well, I saw that Coors Light koozie. A bunch of I mean, markers. What are we supposed to guess? What it is? Or yeah. What are doing? And this one, I will say, is like the most general one out of all of them. Okay, so this is somebody's everything drawer. Wow. Yeah. Because that, like. that's what my everything drawer looks like. And but, if I ever find that koozie... I'm the be most really happy. exciting thing for me is the name of the user is First Time Long Tim. First Time Long Tim? Yeah. yeah. So you know what I'm saying, right? I know Short Tim pretty well. The second time you encounter Long Tim, it's not nearly as fun as the first time. What is what is that apparatus on the left side, that like greenish aqua thing? What is that? Is that a toothbrush? Can't tell what that is. A lot of batteries. I mean, we have a drawer. You got the kitchen drawer that's got all the stuff, and this is all the stuff I have. It's got, I've got tape. I've got scissors. I also have a Ziploc bag full of cash. So if you're ever gonna rob me, full of what? Cash. Oh, I thought you said cabbage. I was like, that's cabbage. not okay. Oh no, I have a <laughs> Ziploc bag full of cabbage. <laughs> I have a Ziploc bag full of cabbage. Let's we see. we have about four or five, maybe four and a half drawers in our house that have these items in them. But there's no rhyme or reason to what the four drawers are in. I'm not really learning much about this person, which is really what you like from a from a no lane situation. So big drawer though. Big drawer. Let's move on. Okay, so that you're is a Millennium Falcon. Yeah. I was gonna say what Lego structure has this particular Reddit user knolled? Is that and, right? Yeah, and, you, and you're Nailed correct. It. It's 7,541 pieces. The only reason I know that is because we we had our team assemble it and then we just do it off the roof. Remember that? Yeah. User minus Tish, negative Tish, subtract Tish. What is that big black rectangle there? Is that part of it? 
That's the man. Oh, you greeked out. You 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 censored the manual, yeah. so we couldn't have the answer. So we okay. wouldn't know how to put it together. Okay. I mean, when you when you get a Lego set, they tell you kind of like if you get IKEA furniture, they don't do this. You're supposed to do this to like make sure you have all the pieces before you start. Oh no, but you can't. I mean, when you're doing complex Legos, which let me say up front, I do not do. Um, you can't go, you can't mix the bags. You can't get, you organize things by color because then you're screwed. They're pretty reliable. Screwed. They're very reliable. And they'll give you a few extra pieces of the stuff that you'll lose anyway. Um, but yeah, they do it by bag. When I was growing up, they didn't do it by bag. We didn't have bags. Yeah, I'm right, right? We didn't have the bags. Yeah. There's no bags. Well, but bag, I mean. Bags didn't even exist. My kids will get the stuff, there's like 48 bags. It's like, this is too What's well, a bag? Let's see another we know, one. We know, we know boxes. You slipped in on that one. And okay. holes. Um, this looks like camp. You're, okay, there's like cooking stuff. There's computer stuff. This is a college dorm room. <laughs> Rhett. Is that is correct? It, yeah. I, I thought user. there was going to be a reveal of the college dorm room. Azul. Azul. Do you know what? That's a lot of color. Do you know what the, the dead giveaway was? I haven't seen it because I'm. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how did you get it so quickly. What? What is it? The beanie. <laughs> the beanie under the clock. The 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 beanie was just like oh this is uh, I was like for, I was like it's kind of like disparate, you know, cooking supplies, okay, and then yeah. some school supplies, hardware hardware stuff, uh, two ties, one belt. That, Although that, that I gotta belt say, is bedazzled. That's a lot of like pans for a student dorm. Yeah, we didn't have any pans in our dorm room because what we we couldn't cook in our dorm room. No. And what what is all that brown stuff in the lower left that gets from like bigger to smaller rows? What is that, guys? Can you tell? Boogers. That's I'm taking my burger collection to that's college. That's all the boogers that have been like scraped onto the bottom of the bed. You know what? Christy and I replaced our bed. Uh, we finally We've been married 43 years, <laughs> and we finally got a king bed, y'all. 43 years. We got a king bed, so I'll let you know how that goes. But when I was moving the bed out, uh, I noticed that Christy has this stash of dried up old... Boogers. No. Chocolate? You, you had this collection at your house on your windowsill in high school. Middle school, little fellers. Yeah. Oh no, I'm joking. She didn't. But she has a collection of dried up old Raisins. contact lenses. Like, I guess when she goes to bed, I need to ask her about this. Like, she just pinches them off and throws them on the throws them under the bed. Good for her, man. <laughs> like, you never. You gotta have that. some place in your house you're just throwing trash. Yeah, you're just like stashing it just to know you're alive. All right, let's see another one. Okay, this is a, what does that say on the Ziploc bag? This is somebody. Pepper man? Pepper. Pepper. This is somebody getting ready to make a dish. And the question is what dish? Got mm -hmm. oil and thyme. Sausage. No. You said sausage? <laughs> you said sausage? I mm. think this is. Like what is that big a big squash? Why you need a whole spaghetti squash? So you got there's an apple and there's uh, carrots and a bay leaf and an and onion. An onion. Uh, I can't read what that said. And a gourd. Does it say pepper bacon? You eat a gourd? Does it say pepper bacon? I can't read that small. I think it does say pepper bacon. And Give us a hint, Stevie. Stevie. What's a dish? And uh, that's a butternut squash, not spaghetti squash. It's not a gourd. Oh, it's a soup. Uh, squash soup. Yeah. It's a, it's from user Carna, Carnal Bloodlust. <laughs> carnal Bloodlust. <laughs> you know what Carnal Bloodlust is really into? You'd never guess. Squash soup. <laughs> but he, but Colonel Bloodlust wants some more squash soup. They're, they're really into it. Though. Like it's very serious. I'm well, yeah. Right. If you're gonna null it out, you're pretty into it. I mean, why did you pick this one? Because because, well, because of the this. Uh, I know that squash soup is really popular amongst the crew. I, I, I think I, because I, of the I, I didn't know that. Uh, 
Speaking of not wanting to miss out on squash soup the next time it comes around. Pepper uh, bacon. That's kind of how we think about the, you know, the apparel that we have over at the Mythical Store. Oh, like that. You know, we bring things in and we, and we see if you like them. And then after a while, they go away. And then we've decided, you know what we'll do? Because people complain about things going away. We'll create a whole section of the Mythical Store called the Last Chance section, where it's just stuff that once it's gone, it's gone forever, and it can all be in one place at mythical.com. We did that for you. If you hated it and it's there, that's your cue to celebrate that it's going away. And the latest addition to that Last Chance section is squash soup. Oh. Yeah. Let's just, see just another. little old-fashioned jars of it. <laughs> This is a guitar repair thing. No, okay. Two lighters, a bunch of change. I think this is just what a guy had in his cargo pants. You're yeah. you're not far off. This is pockets. This but is a, a roadies a roadies britches. Okay, but if you were to find things that were in somebody's pocket, where would you find them? Uh, in jail. Like they got to clean out the pockets, right? Well, the, ro the roadies. Drunken disorderly. Well, look again. at all those nose rings on the far right. Are those earrings? Far right? Oh, yeah. Upper right hand corner. What are those ta those tabs of things like the white things that come to a point? Those, those go the, in your collar. Those are the collar things of a shirt. Yeah. This okay. is somebody. This Which is like, I don't know how. We this know is somebody that. who like works at a tailor, a, a retail store, but wears a nose. A tailor ring. who smokes. This is the pocket of a guitar center employee. Okay, we have established it's coming out of a, of a, of someone's pockets, mm -hmm. but they were all taken from, from one dead. appliance. Oh, a oh, washing, washing machine, machine. Uh, at the back of the guitar Close. center, a laundromat, the dryer, dryer. at the yeah yeah guitar uh, a dryer that was taken apart, a dryer at the guitar center. <laughs> the, the guitar center, they'll, they'll do your clothes. Yeah, this yeah. is from um. Smell like weed and grease. Score zombie. When you get it back, what is that? Up? What Seems are the th three big circles? The three big squares at the top. Matches. Know. Matches. Huh. Okay. There's a little learning there. Yeah. Give me another. Okay. So this is, this is someone who buys all the same brand, of. Well, this is a family camping trip. It is. A camping trip, but it's not a family camping trip. It's a ping pong enthusiast camping trip. Uh, this is a this is um this is like first date camping. This is like young married Subaru owning. Are they married though? Or oh, this is first date camping trip. No, no, first camping trip. I said first date, and you're latching on. What that? happens before? They get married. Sex these days. Love. <laughs> I mean, that's really what the world's come to. First comes Correct. love, then this comes marriage. This is from marriage. a sex camping trip. <laughs> I would have loved <laughs> a sex camping trip. What? Well, you know what? Those are the best camping trips. What is that thing? What is the big black thing with a hole in the middle, like centered at the top? Yeah. Is that is that a shower? So yeah, yeah. I think that might be like a water holder thing. So this is a couple. A this beach is a, camping trip? Oh, this is a couple that's going camping, but one of them's gonna kill the other one. Mm -hmm. Two leave, one comes back. With, not okay. with the axe, though, with the frisbee. There are two events that happen before the wedding takes place as like a okay. last hurrah. This is a bachelor party camping trip? Yeah. <laughs> it really? Specifically from Reddit user Upstate Coach. Must be a ping pong, ping pong coach. Um, oh, I'm about to get married. I really got to cut loose with some, with a with an axe. A bachelor a party camping trip. I don't think camping is a great bachelor party activity, but I mean. Oh uh, yeah, it could be. It could be. Okay, it could be. I mean, the strippers are worn out by the time they get out there. That's right. Yeah. There were no they're, strippers. They're like, all I'll do is throw a frisbee with you. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be naked. I mean, okay. If you have bug spray. <laughs> Red gets the point, I guess. One another? Yeah. yeah. One another. That is a an animal with a tail. Is that a cat? Is that someone's pet cat? Well, it's very, very small and this it has is, a tail. This somebody dried the bones of their pet 
That is a squirrel. But that squirrel. Close. What is, oh, that's a penny. Oh. It's a baby squirrel. Aw, it's a, it's a rat. Close. It's, it's a, a mouse. Close. It's a, it's a pet mouse. It's a teeny mouse. Okay, uh, go into pet, pet territory. Chipmunk. With a tail? What? what? I said go into pet territory. This, this is my gerbil. But what? Yeah. Sorry, it's not your gerbil. Yeah. I don't know why I got so excited. Yeah. Gerbils have tails on yeah. Um, you said yes to gerbil. Yeah. Yeah, because hamsters have the little stubby tail. Yeah, ham uh, yeah. Uh, and this is from the user, the rabies baby. <laughs> so. so let me get this straight. Rabies baby's pet gerbil passed away. And they took and all they, the stuff off the They bones. just let it dry to bone? It's pretty cool. Dry to bone. Better. A gerbil got Camping a weird trip. neck. Look at you know what thing. I'm gonna do? I'm gonna know my dead gerbil. <laughs> that's, cr that's, that's strange, man. That's strange. Okay, we're just gonna do one more. Okay. Um, this these are refrigerator stuff. Are, they, are these um, I think these are 3D printed stuff. Stuff when I first got my 3D printer that I just printed for no good reason. Nope. This is like a nine. 1987 middle schoolers pencil backpack. Box. That no. prism thing. Two screws, a crystal. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's it's from someone's pockets. Okay, it's from a a clown's pockets. <laughs> Close. A mime's pockets. I've never seen a mime pull anything out of them. I mean, like a. There's a couple items on here that should steer you in the right direction that are in like the bottom middle. Two screws. The bottom. Like, I'm sorry, I meant like the bottom row. Like the the, the paperclip and the yeah. a, a teacher's pockets. Okay, more specifically. A kindergarten teacher. Almost. A first grade teacher. Oh God, wrong way. A preschool a teacher. Preschool teacher. Yeah, yeah. A preschool teacher's pocket. What's a preschool teacher going to do with those screws? User Hella Cho. Why are these the things in in the in the preschool teachers' pockets? Like these are all things that preschoolers could choke on. All choking hazards. I think she's gathering the choking Except hazards. Except that prism. You'd have to <laughs> Maybe time that prism they down. confiscated down, Ronnie. all of the things. Chuck down the knew. prism, Ronnie. You're halfway there. If you want a rainbow to come out of your throat, you gotta choke you down gotta this prism. You gotta choke on the prism before your mom After picks you, you up. After you swallow the flashlight. Do not <laughs> tell your parents about this. Out with the old and in with the new, but before we do, check out our last chance section at mythical.com and get your faves before they're gone forever.